These are a few of our favorite things. When the kit bites, when the rat stings, when I'm feeling mad. Hey guys! Hello! <laughs> it's fall. Yeah, technically we have another month of fall and like, you know, all the fall holidays, but we've been so excited to make this video since we did the summer favorites. <laughs> We're just gonna jump in the middle of October and do fall, fall favorites. favorites. For this occasion, we are wearing our finest witch hats. Work. Work it. So we have some of our favorite things that we've been <laughs> using this fall. <laughs> First up presenting is Andrea Vasquez. I'm going to start with my favorite, favorite thing. Why not work down from here? <laughs> the Girls by Emma Klein. You've probably seen it on your Barnes & Noble shelf. Local Goodwill. Beneath your brother's bed. That's a strange character to have. <laughs> but I mean, if he's trying to learn some lessons from it, which I hope he's not. Non-spoiler summary. It's about a girl in 1969 and she goes to a commune. Whoa! Spoiler alert, babe! <laughs> It's about a girl in 1969. That's all you gotta know. Yeah. Besides that it's amazing. amazing. I can't wait to read it. Tell me what you like, honey. <laughs> honey, well, what I like. <laughs> I like tea. I like to drink tea. And I like loose leaf tea. And this tea that I got is called Nourish Tea. Chai Delicio. I don't speak French anymore, so I can't say that. Oh, yummy chai. Okay, it's I get yummy. it. Yummy chai, but yummy. in French, it's French. Okay, this is delicious, and with a little soy milk, you uh, you feel like you're in a little toasty cabin up in the Sierras. Cat on your shoulder, just like, I'd say this is definitely a fall favorite of mine. It's a nice tea to drink while you're reading. The girl. What? <laughs> She's gonna have a favorite tea every month. Yeah, it was hard to pick this month. It was only uh, $2 at Hannaford. It was on sale, so. Since we're in the food category, new my new obsession is almond butter. Get a look at that. One thing I do have to say though, it's expensive. Well, we can afford it maybe once every three months. <laughs> she can afford it. I can afford to <laughs> stick my spoon into it in the middle of the night. $11 is like That's getting crazy. up there. It's uh, like almond butter or rent. Oh, and what? this month I chose almond butter. Mm -hmm. So fall's here and I've been craving crazy comfort food. My favorite vegan alternative noodle has been this House Foods tofu shiitake noodle. And it, it's made of yam flour and tofu, and it's actually really amazing. I make spaghetti out of it, or fettuccine with nutritional yeast, or some lentil meatballs, and it's so good. Shit talking noodles. <laughs> they talk shit about you, babe. You get that from Spy Kids. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> we collectively spent $2 on this next product. Bam, wet and wild. This is the 24 hour vegan lipstick. It is matte. Look at that matte. Not you matte, this matte. This is called Spiked with Rum. Technically it's called Cherry Bomb. I like to call it Drunk Professor McGonagall. And just like put that crap all over until you look like you were a wolf that came across a barrel of berries in the forest. Just messy, just straight up messy. Uh, it's like, I like it because I used to get the shiny kind of lipstick, but this is no shine. It lets you, you know, you shine by yourself. Oh, this is my favorite scarf. You've probably seen me wearing this in the vlogs, but it's really nice. It has these things at the bottom. Tassels. <laughs> my mom actually gave this to me last Christmas, and it's been a favorite through the winter and falls. Um, I don't know who it's by. I don't know where she got it. There's no tag. It's called Amanda Blue. B-L-U. Thanks, Mom. Okay, honestly, guys, let's just call September Makeup Madness because it was the most annoying month of my life to try and find a vegan mascara that was not clumpy, crappy, or dried out. I tried 
every single vegan brand of mascara in Ulta. Thank <laughs> God they let me like return them or I would have spent like a million dollars. No, I wouldn't have. I just would have stopped wearing mascara. It is up there. So I kept just returning it every week and trying a new one, but then I did some more research and the closest one to a drugstore mascara is this Pacifica Stellar Gaze Mascara in Supernova, which is black, super black, and the brush is pretty big. Right. I like a big brush. It's lightweight, it doesn't burn my eyes, which every single mascara has been doing, so. For $11, totally worth it. The it's other ones it. were like 20 bucks. I was like, what is this? Witch kisses. Another thing that I use to keep warm is my Mexicali Blues shawl. It's so pretty. And just like my scarf, This store is located in downtown Portland, Maine. There's also one in Boston, There's, I believe. Yeah, so if you're in Boston, check it out. Go check it out. On those nice fall days where it's not too cold, just a little brisk, if you want to go outside and read a book, just put this around your shoulders. And it's perfect. It's so nice. And it wasn't that expensive. It was about like 30 bucks. Totally worth it. So I've been sticking to a really crappy face wash that's really bad for my skin for probably about um, 13 years now. But I recently switched to this Avalon Organics Intense Defense. Yeah, it foams up, it's really nice. I thought because it had oil in it that I was gonna break out really bad, but I didn't. It pairs up with this Intense Defense Vitamin C Oil-Free Moisturizer. It looks like dish, and it has uh, like a standard white lotion. I usually like gel better, but it'll do. It smells like an orange. Yeah, I just sniff her face all day. She seriously does. When we're watching a movie, she's like, bae, bae. <laughs> then Andrea only steals it sometimes, so vegan, non-GMO, biodegradable. The last thing on my list is this sketchbook that my brother gave me for my birthday this year because I finally finished my other sketchbook and got to start this one. It has a very nice tree on it, and it says sketchbook. It has this little band so that you feel like you're in Lord of the Rings when you're done like sketching and it's got acid free paper and then you just like tie it up and you're like okay Frodo we're gonna go like walk to the tree <laughs> and you just put it in your purse it's the perfect size I think it was $7.99 Michael's great buy all right guys well that polishes off our fall favorites for now yeah. who knows we might do another one of these because we Baby, love fall so much we love fall love fall it's really hard for us to wait until <clears throat> The season's almost over because we want to show you our things. Yeah. Oh, look at him. He's adorable. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Thank you. We love you. And happy fall. Happy fall. Oh. Happy soon to be Halloween. Oh. Ah. See you later.